Hello guys, it's Flymat here. Welcome on today's quick tutorial. And uh, today, as the title say, we're gonna make a cross bleed start. Right now we are in the nice Cologne in Germany. So you can see this beautiful view like I never seen it before. So let's have a quick look. Uh, it should work now. So this is how the view looks like in the game. So incredible view. Okay, let's jump into the topic. Right now I'm going to tell you the quick description how it looks like. Uh, so let's pretend that we are fully ready for pushback. The cart should be already connected. And in my airline we put air starter and air conditioning on the right hand side. Or actually it depends as well from the ground stuff. Uh, but as an air starter we put it on the right hand side so we start engine number one first and uh, here in the PMDG we can we cannot choose the um, the sides so as far as I saw it before the card comes from the left hand side so we will need to start engine number uh, two first and then after pushback engine number one remember you cannot do the crossbody start uh, during push because you will need to add some thrust on the uh, working engine and up to 40 30 it depends usually 28 is enough here in the simulation uh, you will see the pressure drops but um, in real life uh, it doesn't drop that much okay so where we have to look for the starter so in real life you just need to go to ask the ground ground stuff that you know like we will need the air starter to start up the engines and they're like okay we're gonna organize it and then uh, in the game here how to simulate it uh, we will do services okay let's close all the doors Let's pretend that we are ready. Uh, push back. We're not gonna make it. Services. Uh, ground power. We're not gonna disconnect it right now. So let's keep it. And because the ground power unit is connected from the right hand side, uh, from the GPU ground power unit, or or from the gate, uh, we don't want to have anybody crossing on the right side, walking there next to the running engine. So we'll need to start the APU and uh, today we're not going to have the APU bleed so let's say it's not working. So let's keep the uh, ground power for now and we'll start APU in a second. Air starter, uh, we have some stairs here so they cannot approach us so let's remove the stairs. Okay and then we'll be able to request uh, air start unit as you can see so air conditioning unit you can do it as well if it's available and when it's hot or cold and but I'm not sure if it's heating the air as well but if cooling the air it doesn't give you super cold air but it's always better to use it than have nothing especially when it's summer season summertime I mean and it's like 35 degrees outside so the stairs are not leaving we'll need to speed up something here oh yeah we can now request the air start unit like you can see the cockpit is not uh, prepared at all because we'll just do the uh, cross bleed start so no FMC nothing there so you see in real life in my airline we put it on the right hand side so the left hand side is fully clear so right now it's uh, connected and we'll start engine number two first and uh, we usually tell them to connect it right before engine startup not like here so they don't have to use because it burns fuel so they don't have to use it for like five ten minutes so usually after the clearance for push we tell them that you can plug it in 
we plug it in and uh, we can start engine startup at the gate so for this procedure you need to advise the ground if there is um, obviously there is ATC available in real life but in the game if there is a ground or tower you need to advise them that we will be doing the uh, engine start at the gate and then after pushback it's going to be crossbleed start why do we need to advise them that we do the crossbleed start as i said before we'll add some trust so we don't want to have any traffic crossing cars behind the airplane so they will need to pay special attention okay so we can release the ground power or oh, just before okay i made that mistake in real life a couple of months ago when i started i just saw the guy who was telling us okay can we disconnect the ground power i'm like hey, okay without checking that it's connected to our plane i mean the apu uh, and what happened like the plane went blank so uh, yeah let's connect the apu and then uh, we can disconnect the ground power and this is the proper procedure so nobody gets scared especially at night during the day it is okay uh, so we don't have the ground power the tag is connected so i just want to simulate quickly and show you how this pressure goes up uh, so right hand side is clear let's pretend that it was connected and now we ask the ground handler okay you can pressurize and he usually say okay we need two minutes yeah so uh, and we can do it even before startup clearance uh, ask them to to pressurize because as uh, as i told you it takes up to two minutes to start the engine i mean from the air starter okay now it's rising uh, we do all the checks checklist pressure is good and we are clear to start engine number two parks out uh, off AP bleed on, AP bleed off, and uh, isolation valve to uh, open. So it's confirmed. Starting engine number two. Uh, it's uh, simulation time is uh, times two, as you can see here. So it's not it's not normal time. just to speed up the process so we have engine number two almost running right now and we see everything looks good engine number two is stabilized and we can tell them that guys you can disconnect air starter and shocks so let's uh, air start unit let's disconnect it disconnecting and we have parking brakes one more time to sorry to set and then let's remove the chocks so they work fast today as you can see and we ready for the push once it's clear so now I can ask the ATC request push unless I was instructed that after the engine startup we are clear to push okay so we are clear so let's uh, release the parking brakes and let's go hopefully it's gonna work so we're pushing back and there is no engine startup during the push Sometimes the ground personnel can tell you like, yeah, you can start engine, crossbleed really start engine number one, but they don't know that we cannot do it like that. As we need to set parking brakes and then add some trust as needed. Otherwise, we will be just fighting with the cr with the pushback track. Let's set the parking brakes. Okay. So now we have parking brakes set and uh, we cannot drop the pressure uh, below uh, 30. 
so we should keep around 30 for the crossbleed start and we should add some trust over here so let's uh, in real life we I think we kept it around 28 or even on idle it was good and after the engine startup and let's put the normal time after the engine startup uh, during the startup we'll see the big drop in real life there is not so much big drop as as you will see in a second so let's follow the procedure and um, engines it's gonna start up here anyway so packs to off uh, isolation valve uh, sorry engine bleeds to on isolation valve is to auto position and as we said we don't have APU bleed pressure is 30 and normal timing right now engine number two is running at 30 and one so we can start engine number one you don't see anything here right now because it's uh, night time and how is the drop you see so at this time we should add some trust to keep this uh, around 30 but never happened to me that the drop was like this 23 24 25 if you have two levers for for the engines you can try to do so but I have only one so uh, I control two thrust levers with one uh, button We can see that it looks fine, the pressure is good here, 30 as it was before. 56 and start the car out and yeah, engine is stabilized. So now we can do the normal procedure. And blow it and over here we have packs to auto uh, just wanted to add if it's super hot in the cabin you still can do uh, packs to auto on on one engine running uh, during the push just let's say it takes one minute two minutes it's always good to put some cold air in the cabin even for two minutes otherwise you know people are complaining uh, okay so here it's uh, okay then we switch off the APU we don't need it anymore start switches to continuous flaps whatever we had there let's say flaps one and uh, systems which we checked everything here recall checklist and uh, we can request a taxi and yeah that would be it you can join me for taxi if not see you soon on the next video logo position anti-collision right side clear guys with the pin looks amazing parking brakes released i think it's it's now released thank you guys for joining me and uh, see you on the next video Take care.